Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing is, of course, the first set of footage of this film in the form of a teaser trailer that'll let all fans around the world know exactly what the tone is going to be like and exactly what J.J. Abrams' vision is going to be for the final installment of this current trilogy. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now some of which have all to do with various shot descriptions of the teaser trailer for episode 9, which is all set and ready to drop on April 11th of this year. Specifically shot descriptions consisting of Rey leading an army of resistance fighters and pirates in front of a large castle while raising her blue lightsaber. It's a to feel like something straight out of Game of Thrones. It's said that many of the Resistance fighters are on horse-like creatures. The next goes over Kylo Ren with an ignited crossguard lightsaber blade in the middle of a battlefield with his Knights of Ren behind him. It's described that they are surrounded by a body of fire with a crashed ship in the background. The next goes over Kerry Russell's character codenamed Mara with an over-the-shoulder shot of her using a blaster rifle at incoming land vehicles before taking cover behind rubble. It's it's described that she is in a purple outfit. The last goes over some kind of starfighter that Rey is flying over the large space battle between the First Order and the Resistance. It's described that imagery is similar to the Battle of Coruscant in the very beginning of Episode 3. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this and as to why I'm very excited about the teaser trailer of Episode 9. Now it seems like it's really going to be focused on some of the sequel trilogy characters as well as the new characters coming into play here for episode 9. Now first things first, I want to go over the Rey sequence. Now this sequence in particular is said to be very much like something straight out of Game of Thrones. And you know, if you look at Star Wars, specifically within the sequel trilogy, I really wonder why they love, you know, inspirations from Game of Thrones so very much. I know it's a hit TV series on HBO, I know it's a great TV show, a lot of people out there love it. But I'm always wondering as to why all the creators of the Star Wars sequel trilogy love to actually use inspiration from Game of Thrones in order to apply it to Episode 9. And of course, Episode 7 and 8. So in this scenario, Rey is actually leading an entire army of resistance fighters, many of which are actually sitting on these horse-like creatures. Now we heard about these horse-like creatures before in the past, when we actually saw some of the leaked photographs during the summer of 2018. Now with that being said, a lot of people, including myself, I'm saying, you know, do they really need more horse-like creatures when we already got them in The Last Jedi during the Casino City of Canto Bight sequences in that movie? Now to me, I feel like that they should shift away from more Earth-like animals and do something completely new and original. But that's just my take on things. This castle, by the way, seems like a very interesting take on a Star Wars film. Not quite sure exactly where they are or what point in the movie this actually takes place in. But nonetheless, this sounds very much like it's medieval times in the Star Wars universe. Now, next one, the next one that I do want to go over is the description of Kylo Ren with an ignited lightsaber surrounded by a body of fire, with the Knights of Ren behind them, all right, behind him, with a crashed starfighter in the background. Now, this leads me to believe that this is either Kylo Ren's ship that crash lands on that planet that we heard about, or it could just be some random ship in the background that Kylo and the Knights are standing in front of. Now, we do know that they are going to have scenes on one of the major land battle sequences in Episode 9, the battlefield, if you will, that is inspired by the Beach of Normandy from World War II. And with that being said, you can really see where J.J. is going with this movie. It really is going to be chaos and an all-out war and a war to end all wars. A lot of sacrifices and losses in this movie. So this movie really does have a lot going for it. There's a lot of risks for our characters like, you know, Rey, Finn, and Poe, and even Leia. You know, what the future holds right now is completely mysterious as to what's going to happen to these characters. Now, the next one that I do want to go over, which is very intriguing, 
is of course Carrie Russell's character codenamed Mara. And there's a reason as to why I'm starting to believe that she's more around the lines of a bounty hunter. Now, Carrie Russell's character codenamed Mara is actually said to be taking on a couple of land-based vehicles using a blaster rifle before she takes cover behind a pile of rubble. Now, it's described that she's wearing a purple outfit again. Now, I'm starting to wonder what's with this purple outfit? Exactly why would she be wearing an outfit like that? in an actual Star Wars movie. Is she a Knight of Ren? Is she a bounty hunter? What is she in this movie? That's a big question for sure. The only thing that we do know aside from all of this is that she does have scenes with Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley, and Mark Hamill. So she does have scenes with Kylo Ren, Luke, and Rey. And lastly, I want to go over the major space battle sequence where it's described that Rey is in some kind of star fighter flying over the major battle between the First Order and the Resistance. Tons of Star Destroyers going up against resistance cruisers and it's described to be on the level of the battle of Coruscant when it comes to the action level in that scene. So like I said, you can really see how J.J. Abrams is really drawing a lot of ideas from the prequel trilogy era and applying it to episode 9 in order to really make it resonate with all Star Wars fans around the world. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.